And last but certainly not least, we have number 27. I'll be so careful with this one because it's got a lot of verbiage going on. Very easy to get lost in it. For an electric field passing through a flat surface, I'm just going to read the whole thing once and then we'll break it down. Perpendicular to it, the electric flux of the electric field through the surface is the product of the electric field's strength in the area of the surface. A certain flat surface consists of two adjacent squares where the side length in meters of the larger square is three times the side length in meter of the shorter square, smaller square. An electric field with strength 29 volts per meter passes uniformly through the surface which is perpendicular to the electric field. If the total electric flux of the electric field through the surface is 4,640 volts meters, what is the electric flux in volts meters of the electric field through the larger square? Okay. There's a couple different ways to do this. Okay. There's a shortcut way and then there is a longer way. I'm going to show you both. All right. So the initial sort of idea is we have this flat surface. We have an electric field is passing through and it's passing through at a right angle. Okay. And we are given a, a formula in here and it's the formula is right here. It's kind of hidden right there. So it says the electric flux is that is means the equals the product product means multiply of the electric fields strength and the area. It so does hate whenever I try to draw a dot. A dot! You tried to draw a dot! I don't know what to do with a dot! I am Microsoft Whiteboard and I stink a lot of the time. Okay, so strength times area. I digress. Flux equals strength times area. All right, so a certain flat surface has two adjacent squares. Okay, so we got one square and the larger one, the side length in meters of the larger square is three times the side length of the smaller. Okay, so I'm going to extend this. I'm going to call this X on both sides and this one is three times so it's three X on both sides. Okay, an electric field with a strength of 29 volts, there's my strength, passes uniformly through this and if the total flux is 4640, what is the flux that's going through the larger square? Okay, we don't know the area. All right. There's again, two ways to do this. The first one, it's a little bit longer, but it may make more, it may make more sense to you. The other one is quicker. That one also may, may, may make sense to you. We want the one that makes the most sense where you understand the concept and that you can do, you know, quickly and accurately. So here's both ways. First, when we're told the flux and the strength, but we don't know the area of this whole combined thing, I'm going to solve for the area. So 4,640 equals 29 times the area. So to undo what's been done, I need to divide both sides by 29. And when I divide 4,640 by 29, I get 160. So if A is 160, that that's my total area. What's the area of these two parts in terms of X? The smaller one is X times X or X squared. The biggest one is 3x times 3x. 3 times 3 is 9x times x is x squared. Okay. x squared plus 9x squared would be the total area using x. And I also know the total area using numbers is 160. Well, now I can solve for that x squared. x squared plus 9x squared is 10x squared. Then, since x squared is being multiplied by 10, I need to divide both sides by 10. And I get that x squared is equal to 16. Then, to undo that squared, I can take the square root of both sides. And x is equal to 4. And yes, square roots can be positive or negative, but here we're talking about a length, so it's only positive. So then I can go back up here to my sides and go, okay. So this side is 4, and this side is 4, because x is 4. And over here, I have 3x and 3x. This side is 12, 3 times 4. And that side is 12, 3 times 4. All right. So now I go, okay, I want to know the electric flux going through the larger field. Flux is equal to strength times area. I know my strength is 29. 
and my area is 12 times 12 or 144. And if I multiply those together, I get 4,176 and that is my flux. Okay, that is one way to do it. It is perfectly valid and that is the right answer, 4,176. But here's something else you can do. We don't actually have to solve. I was going to say again, x, x, 3x, 3x. Okay. Once you get to this point right here, we're at 4,640 is the total, you know, the total flux, 4,640. It's equally distributed through this, uh, this, through these two squares. This one is x squared. And this one is 9x squared. What percentage, portion, proportion of this whole thing is the larger square? The whole thing altogether is 9x squared plus x squared or 10x squared. And the proportion that this larger square is, it is 9x squared out of that 10x squared. So those x squareds cancel. And we just say it's nine tenths of the whole. So the flux would also be nine tenths of the flux. So, so 4,640 times nine tenths or 0 0.9. And that will get you also 4,176. So again, if that made sense to you, that's a nice little shortcut way you can do this. Either way, you're going to get to the correct answer of 4,176. And congratulations, you've completed this section. Hey guys, head over to my new site, mathwithalyssa.com to get your free, yes, free 10 video course of SAT tips and tricks. It covers things like how to make a study plan that's perfect for you, how to pace yourself during the test to get maximum points, and so much more. I'm super excited to get this out to you guys, and a lot more SAT prep help is coming for you in the weeks ahead. Again, that is mathwithalyssa.com. And if you liked the video you just watched, please let YouTube know. Comment, like, share, subscribe, you know the drill. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.